Just a few days ago, we covered an application called NAN. This is an AI application that can help assist in creating AI agents with the drag and drop user interface. Many loved it and thought it would be really useful, which got me researching for similar tools, but that are completely open source. That is where I stumbled across an open source tool that replicates NAN. Introducing XForce IDE, a really new project that was actually just recently released just yesterday. It's a very simple open source UI that helps you create agent-based workflows for yourself. Just drag and drop agents, connect them together, give them a specific task and run it on your local desktop. Just take a look at this example, which shows how you can create multiple AI agents with different custom agents. This is a tool that allows you to easily create conversable agents, executable agents, as well as customizable agents. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. This is quite an amazing tool that will be really beneficial for a lot of AI users who are quite new and do not have the right coding knowledge to create and deploy AI agents. Throughout today's video, I'll be showcasing how you can get started with XForce, demonstrate how you can create your own AI agency by using it, as well as so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at XForce IDE. This is a low code framework that operates as an agent as a service, and it provides a friendly user interface, which you can see right over here. It's for creating agent-based workflows. Now, the key feature revolving around XForce IDE is its drag and drop interface. Many of us love this drag and drop interface as we saw it with NAN as well as with Flowwise. This allows anyone to design workflows without the need of for extensive coding. Now, once the desired workflow is created, you can basically export it as a Python script, which can enable the execution of these workforces on their own local machine. It's something that makes XForce IDE a user-friendly tool for individuals who want to develop AI agents without requiring advanced programming skills. This is something that I'll be showcasing as we go further into the video, and this is something that you can actually access right away on the web. Now, let's just take a look at some examples so you get a better idea as to what you can actually create with this framework. Now, in this case, you're able to compare the year-to-date gain between stocks. This was an AI agent that was created using XForce. And we can see that the initial prompt over here is where the user is initiating a conversation with XForce. And it's asking for the current date for the stock prices of Meta as well as Tesla, like the year-to-date gains. And this is where they generated the script for this based off this flow over here. You use the open AI model, you set the API key, use an assistant agent as well as a user proxy to help process this. This is the initial prompt that is sent and the assistant agent is processing the open AI API, which is then fusing these two nodes together into a group chat, which is then gonna generate the script. Now, as we go down, we can see that this is the initial prompt. What date is today? Compare the year to date gain for Meta and Tesla. Now, this is where XForce AI generates this Python script. And this is in response to this query that was sent to it. It imports the date time module to work with the dates, as well as retrieving the current date using the date time data data i believe command over here which is the print and this is where the placeholder values are set for the year to year to date gains for meta as well as tesla 
And as we go down further, we can see that the execution is then set where it gives permission for the assistant to execute the generated Python script. It'll run the script and provide the output. And this is where we see this output being generated. You're also able to get this output that showcases that on January 20th of 2024, it states that Tesla has a higher year to date gain. And if we go down even more, it showcases this further in detail. And this is based off the place sort of holder value now that's basically it for this example where you're able to create this comparison bot that compares the year-to-date gain between the two stocks let's take a look at another example which is focusing on a research agent workflow and this is to find product ideas from latest research papers from archive now this is where we first start off with the initial prompt this is where you're instructing x-force ai to find the latest research paper about gpt4 on archive and then identify potential applications of gpt4 in software now this is where you're using the open ai api and is being sent to the assistant agents, which will then execute this user proxy prompt, which is to find this latest paper about GPT-4, et cetera. And it's all fused into a group chat, which will then be executable. Now, this is where we then first start off with the generation of the code, and that's using Python script. This is where the assistant will be then finding a way to simulate coder roles and it will generate a python script to achieve this task the script is using the archive api to search for papers and it's containing different types of content of gpt4 in their title or even their abstract and this case they're going to sparse the responses where it's going to track the different types of information about the latest paper and it will print this information into that sparse chunk now the system is something that is going to acknowledge the identification of different types of potential applications in software and this will be a manual task and this will actually require human intervention to examine the abstract now once this is done you will then be sent to the execution where it will attempt and find different types of errors. And through this process, as you see over here, you can keep on moving down and it will then showcase that if there's no errors, it can then install and rerun this overall. And then after there's a successful execution, after solving all sorts of errors, we can then go to the conclusion, which is gonna then simulate the product manager where it will then showcase how X-Force will be able to generate code so that it finds the responses of different types of uh, GPT-4 archives as well as in execute this prompt where it will find the latest papers on GPT-4. So let's get started. Now, this is our workspace where we're going to be using it to create specific agent workforces. And this could be for custom business logic, could be for executable agents, customizable agents, and such forth. Now, there's four main concepts revolving around the agents. There is the assistant agent, which is a subclass of the conversational agent. It allows for a configuration of system prompts. Secondly, you have the GPT assistant agent. This is based off of OpenAI's assistant API, and it will enable for connections to OpenAI's assistants in this overall X-Force workflow. You have the user proxy, which is the proxy that acts between the agent workforce as well as the user. It's going to facilitate more feedback. You have the group chat, and that's something that will be enabling the collaboration amongst different agents as well as putting your own human intervention to working on specific tasks by connecting them together in that same group now there's also different types of tools and you can see that this is the agents you have the tool sets over here which is the custom function and this is a node in the tool category which will basically allow you to add custom python functions for agents to actually consume this is powerful for extending the functionality of xforce now it's just great to me like it's just great to understand that this is just a start for xforce as this was just recently released on twitter and i stumbled across it and I have huge props for the developer who created this. It's something that was just recently released and it's something that will be built upon even further. Now, this is just the first day of this and I truly believe that it will be built further and extended upon. Now, I forgot to mention about configuration and this is another core library panel. This is the setting to connect different large language models to agents. Now, at this moment, I believe it's only OpenAI, which is something that will be 
tweaked upon further you can probably work with different open ai models but later on i believe they will have the ability to infuse different open source models so definitely stay tuned on that i can post about it more on the private discord as well so if you're interested definitely check out the patreon page if you want to get more ideas as to when they will configure this further extend it further as well as if you want me to do more tutorials on it so if you see over here you can click on file you can create your own project you're also able to export this which i'll talk about after but in this case we're going to create a new file and once this is done you can then start your new project this is where you can first start off by implementing your llm this is going to be your model provider so you can use gpt4 turbo or the ones that are stated over here in this case we're going to use gpt4 input our api key and proceed forward now the group chat is the one that we talked about where we're going to be focusing on the subclass of conversational agents you're also going to talk about the user proxy this is where we're going to input our prompt which is going to state to state the agent to basically work on that prompt you're going to also need to have an a gpt assistant agent which is something that i'm going to be working on showcasing as we go further into this workspace but i'm just going to briefly create my own AI agent to do something and I'll be right back. Now I finally created my own AI agent with this. In this case, I have set my AI model as GPT-4. I created a GPT assistant agent, which is built on the open AI API, and it's gonna help easily integrate any sort of a open AI assistant into this workflow. I'm using an assistant agent node, which is gonna be the agent that will configure my overall system prompt. Now the system prompt that I gave this is that create me a web scrapper application that will find me the most relevant information on the web. Now. This is where I'm like having it work alongside with the system agent that will then break down the findings and find the best script that is needed to basically create this web scrapper application. Now, this is now then being sent over to the group chat and this is where it's going to then process everything all together. And as we see, it's a subclass of conversable agent configured with a default system message, which is the one that we saw with the user proxy. Now, once you like what you have created, you can then export it over to Python. And we can see over here as you go down, you can then start running your workflow. And this is where you need to export it to your Python code. This is where you can then easily click on export and click on Python code, download the Python file, and then you can then upload it onto your IDE and start working with it right away. Now, you're also able to run it on your local machine and they go through a step-by-step -step process as to how you can get started, but you're gonna need to make sure that you have Pi Autogen, so make sure you have that. You're also gonna need to make sure that you have a virtual environment like Condo or Poetry. So this is something that you should definitely take a look at on their X-Force Notion site, which will demonstrate how you can start doing this more in detail, how you can get started with X-Force. But that's basically it, guys, for today's video. This is a simple demonstration as to how you can create your own uh, AI agent with this IDE on the web. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you check out our YouTube channel if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positive. Activity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.